Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill. And over there, we got John Lewandowski. Hey. Lewandowski. I said Lewandowski. I, cr I crack jokes, but... It... Lewandowski, Lewandowski, either are correct, but not the one you said, but that's okay. We're all good. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, John, how was, your, how was your week break? Oh, it was good. Nice and relaxing. Yeah, I, I feel good and ready to go outside of falling on my back the other day. But yeah, I, I, I kind of got woke up this morning and went, let's go. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's it's time. We're back. Um, so uh, we're just going to do a quick little. Uh, I know we said we were going to have some Anaheim, uh, the Anaheim Ducks breakdown. But before we do that, um, we wanted to give a little bit of a brat, uh, kind of like a little clip of what's been going on between the three organizations little update of who's coming and who's going guys that have retired guys that are going elsewhere that are in the minors that were under minor league contracts right um, there were some things that were that are going on that are all you know needed to be put it out there um now i know we haven't done videos from any of these players so we're going to get into it now starting off um leaving is casimir kaskasuo Kaskasuo is leaving to go to uh uh league sand if in the finnish hockey league um, one of the things we said about this is he's going home. Yeah. All, all in all, he moved to the United States to play college hockey at UMD to, because he was drafted by Toronto, so he wanted to get accustomed to the American style ranks, and he did very well at UMD um, and ended up playing for uh, the Leafs as well as the Predators and uh, the Wolves and yep. uh, the Toronto Marlies. He would have played for the Admirals last season had it not been for COVID. Um, uh, leaving the Predators, right. but not the organization, is Josh Healy. Now, me and John love Josh Healy's style of game. Very physical, very uh, uh, competent as far as defensively. And if he needs to, he can rip it. Maybe not accurately, but can rip it. <laughs> right. Um, also coming in is uh, Mark Dalgazio and Thomas Vamaka out of college. The big thing about Vamaka is uh, that now makes it a very calm, uh, competitive camp coming into Milwaukee because you've got three goalies here. And we don't know right. if Hux is coming back, so we could potentially have four if Ingram doesn't end up. Right. Um, then we have the leading scorer in our in the system. Me and John have done in the system this year. I think we did one of them. We wrapped up everything. Yeah. Um, Yusuf Parsonen was uh, the leader, the point leader, and uh, the uh, predator signed him to his entry level deal. Um, as far yep. as the Florida Everblades, Miles Powell is going overseas along with Michael Hunterbrinker and Logan Rowe. Uh, so they are leaving. Mason Mitchell is, um, I believe, retiring. Tommy Marchand has retired. Um, as well as uh, Downing has retired. Right. Um, also, I would like to wish a good luck to JT Brown on the future of his broadcasting career. With the Seattle you know, Kraken, he announced his retirement from hockey today and will be joining the color commentary in, in with the Seattle Kraken, which is, you know. is a good thing because that's something it, it worth seeing. So with that being said, Logan Rowe was an assistant captain this year for the uh, Everblades. Um, so that'll, uh, that'll add some uh, issues there. Um. Outside of all of that, um, we don't really all 100% know, but Downing, Michael Downing has retired from playing hockey at the age of 26. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's better opportunities than playing in the ECHL, and we all know it. Right. You can make more money working a, a contracting job or, or something else, so we know that. Um, Hunter Breaker is going overseas and uh, for good reason. Uh, he's a very talented hockey player, but at the same time, does not carry the ability, which opens up a spot on the Admirals roster because he was under an AHL contract. Now, what I would like the Admirals to do with this is pick up Alex Kyle. 
it would be a good pickup for them. All right. As far as the Admirals go. All right, so Josh Healy is leaving the Nashville Predators, like I said, but not the system. He will be joining the Admirals. All right. Um, also, Zach Solo will be joining the Milwaukee Admirals. Uh, signed his uh, AHL deal. So that's yeah. another thing that's uh, coming forward out of all of this. Um, other than that, I mean, it's kind of looking like um, we got Grant Mismash coming in as well. Okay as well as David Barrett. So you got a bunch of guys coming in out of, out of college, uh, Cabrantes, and uh, I believe he said he is interested in re-signing with the Predators for around a million dollars or a two-way contract if, if, if not, not offered anything, you know, right. he's willing to play in the AHL. Um, so there are some things there as well. Um, other than that, it is National Selfie Day, so please go to our Facebook and Snap, uh, well, not Snapchat, we don't have one of those yet. And I've been contemplating, man, but we're not there yet. Um, but no, uh, we, uh, we will be, uh, coming back this Friday, since nobody voted, really, we're just gonna go with number one, just a little heads up, we gave the time, nobody voted. Alexa, do not disturb. I won't disturb you. <laughs> um, uh, then you have, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. My own, my Alexa turned on. <laughs> um, you know, we have some stuff coming, um, but the, we're going to be ranking. Me and John are going to get into the same room and be ranking. Um, reverse retro jerseys. Um, uh, me and him are gonna get uh, together. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna put out a, a photo of all of them for him, and uh, he can give me his ranking. I already have mine, so once he gives me his, we're gonna mesh them together and see where everybody falls. Um, so uh, where everybody falls, everybody falls. Uh, so this is you know, two people's personal opinion that match into one. Um, uh, I have a feeling who's going to be last. And okay. I have a feeling who's going to be first. Anywhere in between that, I have no clue. Um, but with that being said, there's a lot that um, we got covered for you. After that, we're going to do AHL arenas something me and him are very familiar with, a couple of them. Mm -hmm. um, particularly, uh, you've been to Colorado's arena, I believe, a couple times as well. Um, I do not believe um, they play at the same arena that the Gold Kings used to. The Gold Kings used to play at the Broadmar World Arena back in 99 and 2000 before they went on, out. Um, I'm not sure where the Eagles currently play. I do know that we are very familiar with ours and Rockford. Me and him as well. Um, as well as that, also coming after the Stanley Cup, we will have a video coming out of our draft, uh, our draft prospect list of our top 31 that we're going to, or top 32, because there's going to be well, 31 technically, but 32, because there should be 32 picks, but thanks to the Arizona Coyotes losing their first, um, there are only 31 first round picks. Um, All righty. Well, we had some technical issues there. Just dang those solar flares that knocked out John's internet. <laughs> <laughs> but we got you. We're good here. Um, uh, no, as we were saying, we got the uh, 
AHL arenas, like we were saying, um, me and John have both been, well, we've been to the Panther Arena a lot. <laughs> and Rockford's. We've been to, I've been to Rockford a lot. Yeah, you've been to Rockford. And uh, I've been to a couple of NHL arenas. I've been to a couple of East. I've been to one ECHL arena. I didn't go for a game. I went for something else. But I've been to one um, in uh, Allen, Texas. So um, I think I went for like a rodeo or something <laughs> <laughs> um, when I lived down there. So all we're saying is we got a lot of new content coming, as well as like we were. Ta- I was saying before, we have the draft coming up. So we're going to be doing our top 31 first round picks because Arizona lost their pick. We only have 31 first round picks. So I'm not going to give 32 just to, we might give you 32 just to say, um, you know, that guy, that may, that player may go over somebody else. Right. But beyond that, um, we do have a lot of content coming. Uh, July is going to be very busy for us. August is going to be worse. Uh, September, we're going to take some time back again uh, to prep for the next season and get ourselves mentally prepared yeah. to grind and be ready for you guys again. Um, yes, we will be still doing videos in September, but uh, by then we'll probably be done with all of our uh, – our rankings and stuff like that. So with those things, we're going to be uh, uh, trying to get, if we're not done with our rankings or our breakdowns, um, something happened to one of us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if we're not done by September with those things. Um, right. Uh, by September, we'll also be prepping for training camp as well, because obviously October breeds hockey. And camp starts in September, so we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to go a little bit more fast paced in in September towards the end of the month. Um, with that being said, uh, please call the Milwaukee Admirals at two two seven or that four one four two two seven zero five five zero for all your ticket needs. You can also contact the Florida Everblades. Don't know their phone number off the top of my head, but you can visit their website at floridaeverbladeshockey.com as well as going to the NHL website and, con- and going to the Nashville Predators link on their website, and you can contact them for se- the season ticket list. Um, all teams now have season tickets on sale and uh, help support your favorite team. Um, and if you can't afford season tickets, they got 10 packs, half season flex plan. Yeah. Uh, the Admirals have 365 where if, if you get like a half season, you can pay a little bit a month and, and it works out well for you financially on normal average. That's what me and John do just right. so that we have the extra money to kind of do other stuff with our family. So with that being said, that's all we really got for you. We are looking forward to the Admiral's return. Um, also check out our next video, the uh, Anaheim Ducks breakdown. Um then after this, we will be after the Ducks breakdown. We will be doing Columbus. Uh, Columbus yeah. is in kind of a flux zone. They're not a horrible team, but they got really unlucky this year. Right. And, and sometimes, well, when you have a team like Nashville, and and when you have those team, the teams that made the playoffs, you have those in your division. And you're just playing them. It makes it very hard to get into the playoffs where yeah. on an average you're playing almost every team in the league twice. So therefore it changes the flux of the schedule. <clears throat> One of the other things is I would like to see if, if down the line, the NHL expands their season schedule by a couple games because of Seattle coming in. I would like to see if there's going to be more games played or less. Um, yeah. I'd like to see what they're going to do there because it would probably have to be more if every team's going to play each other twice. So right. you're going to have to add two games. Um, it isn't going to change anything. Not really. It's not going to be like uneven or anything. Everybody's got to play the same amount of games. And as long as you do that, you'll not have any problem. Right. So as long as every team plays the same amount of games, we should be good to go. Uh, with that being said, I'm Danny Goodemo. Uh, over there, we got John Lewandowski, and I'm sorry, I forgot something. Also, we forgot our friends over there at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 
You could call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeywalkermilwaukee.com. They will outfit you for all your hockey needs. I'm sorry, Milos. I've had a week off. You know how it is. Talk to you later. See y'all.